for this problem, what we have, Hazel, is it says the amount that we have, which we call our principal, is $9,000. The rate that we're going to earn on this money is 5%. It's going to be compounded quarterly, and it's going to be for a time of five years. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we're going to be using our correct formula for compound interest. So compound interest, if the formula is A equals P times 1 plus R over N divided by N times T. All right, so that is our formula for compound interest. Well, remember, A is going to be our final value. P is our initial amount, or our principal. And then we have R is our interest rate. N is how many times we compound it in a year. N, same N. And then T is the number of years. So now what I'm simply going to do is just enter in the values I know. So P, we said your initial amount was $9,000 times 1 plus. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're writing in your rate, you want to make sure you write in your rate in decimal form. So it's going to be 0 0.05. Then when we're looking at the amount of times we're going to compound it, it's going to be quarterly. So therefore, quarterly is four times a year. And then we're going to do that for five years. All right. Now, when doing this in your calculator, I want you to make sure you follow your order of operations, meaning I want you to do what's inside your parentheses first, and then do multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and so on. So I'll just tell you exactly how I'm going to type this into my calculator um, to figure this out. So I'll do 0 0.05 divided by 4. I'll add that to 1. Then I'm going to raise that to 4 times 5 is 20. Then I multiply that by 9,000. And my final value, A equals 11,538.33. And that's in dollars. OK? Because the initial value was not in euros.